This week, we are checking out the magical lights of Milton, and you don't want to miss this. Hi, I'm Shalini Enriquez. I'm a local Milton real estate agent and community blogger, and I love sharing the things that I love about Milton with all of you. If you haven't been to the magical lights of Milton before, then you are in for a treat. I was lucky enough to meet with Dave, who has curated this entire show, and he shared with us a little bit about the why behind the Magical Lights of Milton. Oh, Dave, thank you so much for uh, for having me here today. Our and pleasure. Yeah, we have been coming to the Magical Lights of Milton for uh, for a long time. We brought our girls here, and uh, we've always enjoyed it. Um, and I just thought it would be great for you to tell you know Milton a little bit more about why uh, why you do this, how long you've been doing it. Sure, this, this is our uh, 10th anniversary. Okay, yeah. Um, our gentleman up in Georgetown actually got me involved with it because he does a big show also. I never learned, didn't, didn't know how to do it. So he, he got me interested in doing it. And then a lot of people choose a different charity. So I figured, you know what? Milton needs to keep something local. And we had the big expansion going on with the hospital. So I figured, you know what? Let's raise money for the hospital. Yeah. It's, our, it's our 10th anniversary. We'll probably hit $60,000 raised this year. Oh, that's for the amazing. Hospital. Yeah. Yeah, we, okay. we, we usually do about eight, seven, eight thousand dollars a year. Wow. So, so our 10 year anniversary will probably hit 60,000 for the total 10 years. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's amazing thing that yeah. you do for, uh, for the town of Milton. Yeah. And I think, you know, everyone will, will appreciate that. How many lights do you have this year? Including the, the matrix up on the roof is over 30,000 lights. Wow, yeah. okay. And it's really neat because it's all synced to music, right? Yeah, there's a, we have a little FM transmitter that transmits a couple blocks. So when people pull up in their car, especially at nights like this where it's really cold, they stay in their car, keep warm, turn on the radio station that, that comes up on the sign. Yeah. And it'll tell them what frequency to tune to. Okay. And then the songs are synchronized to music. Each song will take eight to 10 hours to program. That's after everything set up outside. Oh, so if you, if, you have, if you have like five songs, that's about 40 hours worth of programming. Oh my gosh. So you, does your family all help you? Does everyone get involved? Usually if I'm building stuff, I, I just do it myself. Because everything, everything here is homemade. Okay. Like even like the big the big bowls and the wreaths, everything is homemade. It's, oh, all, it's wow. all plywood. Yeah. So once everything's built, I usually have them help me set it up just because of the ladders and then the stuff on the ground and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Oh my goodness me. So like, what is a what is something that people should know about when they bring their car um, onto a Willow Drive to see the magical yeah. lights of Milton? The, the big thing for us is also to be respectful to the neighbors. The neighbors are very appreciative of what we do. Um, like, don't block the driveways. Don't don't turn in the driveways. Don't walk on their lawns because it's all the private property, and they've been very supportive. Pull up, keep your music down. Like, don't have it too loud. Make it enjoyable for yourself, but don't be like some nights we have it very, very loud and blaring. It just serves people, especially if it's late at night. Okay. So yeah, keep it respectful for everyone else. You know, don't block the view from anyone else. Um, wait your turn. Yeah. Um, come come during the week. It's it's not as busy, but yeah. weekends are busier, especially coming up next weekend. Yes. It's gonna be very busy. Okay. Be patient. It's a yeah. short show. So we had to cut down the show length just because of the traffic volume. Yeah. And then. Enjoy it. Yeah, amazing. And please donate. And please donate. Yeah, <laughs> more, definitely. More, please and more, donate. And more importantly, again, we're just saying so many people don't know about our show. Yeah. So if you tell 10 people and they tell 10 people, yeah. everyone will know about our show. Yeah, so share this video. And if you've had a great time, you know, post a, post a photo. Yeah, we're, we're on Facebook. Facebook? We also have uh, magicallicemilton.com. Okay. We're on Twitter. We're on Snapchat, stuff like that. Okay, so yeah, yeah so sh spread the word and then more people can come, you can get more donations. It's great for the hospital. It's great to support local. Yeah. And yeah. Um, and you can and you can see this magical, have this magical experience with your family because we've been doing it uh, since we moved here. We've been here almost 16 years and, and I'm sure that we heard about it very early on and yeah. we come every year with the girls. Yeah, every so. year we try to add something new, new yeah. songs, new expansions. Yeah, yeah. you had the, do you, are you still doing the bracelet thing? Yeah, yeah, we, okay, we, we so. have bracelets still. The bracelets are very cool. The kids love them because they flash in synchronization with the rest of the house. Yeah. So they're free with a $10 donation. If you see us in our driveway, come up and approach us. Okay. Um, please do not hesitate, especially nice, I guess, where we're not going to see outside. If it's cold, come up to our front door before 9 o'clock, knock on the door. Don't worry about the dogs, they're friendly. Oh, that's and so good. We'll, like, we had a group come by last night of cubs. Like yeah. everyone in the group got bracelets, and then they sent us a photo of all the bracelets flashing with the rest of the house. Oh, that's so it's pretty, awesome! It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a neat technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. that's very, yeah. very cool. If people come and they don't realize that they can make a donation, you can also they donate online through our Facebook page. Okay. Or through our our our, our magicalizingmilton.com page too. Okay, amazing. Yeah. No, just please spread the word. Yeah. It's still it's still frustrating that people say, 
oh, is this your first year? Like, no, it's been 10 years. So there's so many people that don't know about our light show still. Yeah. Spread the word. That's yeah, all we ask. absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for what you, you do for the community. Thank and you. thank you for meeting with me today. Yep. And everyone come out and check out the Magical Lights of Milton. Post the pictures, share it with everyone. And um, and let's all support our community. And, and thank you for, for everything you do. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everyone. Okay, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to go and visit the Magical Lights of Milton. It's an amazing experience. You can stay warm and toasty in your car and you can do something wonderful for the town as well by bringing a donation. See you next week, Milton.